got, you got about two feet. Two, 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 three feet. Keep going. You're good. You're good. A little bit more. Yes, it. Yes. So Zach and Danny and I all live about an hour from each other and we didn't get into the campsite until pretty late the evening before and Zach arrived I think around 9 or 10 o'clock at night so we didn't really do any filming. But we got up in the morning uh, after Zach and Danny got to enjoy their first night in their new rooftop tents and we basically just kind of got things together and prepped ourselves for the trail. Up to 15 in Southern California, we're gonna do the Cleghorn Trail. Uh, we haven't done it before. It's supposed to be pretty fun. There's some nice little offshoots. The the main fire road should be okay, so baby truck here might be all right. Um, and then maybe me and you can do some offshoots. Let's talk about why I have a two-wheel drive truck. I refuse to buy a truck that doesn't have CarPlay, and the Tacomas. But CarPlay don't come out until October. Really? That's what this is all about? That's what it's all about is I'm not going to buy a brand new ass car that I have to still like wire my phone up and stick it in a cup holder. So as soon as the 4x4s with CarPlay come out in October, I'm going to get a real truck. Until then, we're going to take my two-wheel drive truck on this and just see how it goes. Um, this is a perfect trail though because the fire road is rated super easy. It's apparently just a road, so I'll be fine. And there's a different road that weaves back and forth that's like moderate to difficult. So big boy trucks will go up there and a baby truck will stay on the normal road and or get abandoned and picked up later. Okay, let's figure out how to use this. I've never actually had the air down before. Slide valve pushed forward, thread the stem adapter onto the valve stem in a clockwise direction. I didn't know how to, I don't know how to use the tools that we have. I don't know how to use these tools. Give me this thing. You just saw this, but you know how to use this? And uh, I just, I let some air out and then I just took it off and then a lot more air came out. And apparently you can't do that. Well, a lot more air came out because you, you pulled out your valve stem. Yeah, I pulled out my valve stem and then I figured I was good. I wasn't good. So we're gonna fix that. Uh, at least we found the valve stem. We, I found, that could have been it. I could have been. I found the valve stem. I, I found the, <laughs> I found it. I found it on the ground. Eagle eye. All right, so what we're doing here is uh, we had a little mishap. Um, camera op one. Someone uh, didn't know how to use the tools. Well, he was really busy filming um, and we, we lost the valve stem, so we got to put that back in there. Um, so we're going to do that now. And we're going to see how little tire pressure we can lose while we're doing it. We're going to see how much pressure Zach's thumb can hold and see if we can lose another 5%. Oh. <laughs> surprising amount. Thumbs of steel. Oh, you know, I believe you. This is why I let Danny do this. Okay, ready? Yep. I'll, I'll hold this so the air doesn't. God damn it. You ready? I was gonna, yeah. Other one, back one. Oh, I see what you're gonna do. Danny's got it under control. So, to replace the valve stem, you push it in. 
you yeah, do that before you take it off, John. Do you? Yeah. Because when I did it, it just flew out and then a bunch of air came out. <laughs> My leadership qualities are pretty, pretty on point today. Uh, I don't want to admit it, but it's true. Yes. He did a good job explaining how these things work. Uh, well, did he? Because after his explanation, I ripped my belt off. Well, to be fair, he explained it really well to me, and I don't really think you were paying attention. Like an inch between you and twenty thousand dollars in repairs. Yeah, like, I'm not into that. No, thank you. Mm. I'm into light off-roading, light to moderate. This is perfectly fun. This has been super exciting in this truck. There's yeah. been a lot of times where I like I had to really like take a good line, otherwise I wasn't gonna make it. Hey, what happened to you? Well. There was one offshoot that I knew I didn't want to do from watching videos, which was uh, the shoot. Yeah. Uh, Cause it's like super narrow. And I watched some dudes in Wranglers just drag their bodies over these big rocks in the middle of it. Yeah. Um, so I knew I wouldn't be able to do it. And there's a little offshoot back there. I didn't know which one it was. And I was like, ah, I can take that. I'll see you guys on the other side. And I got up there and luckily they marked the shoot with a big old rock with the skull and crossbones on it. And oh, so really? I, yeah, so I, I made it to the top of the hill and then saw that and was like, Now's the time to turn around. Nope. So I had to uh, do a little backtracking. We gotta get some gas. And then we gotta go find a campsite. That's gonna be kind of a pain. No. You think so? It'll probably be a pain. It's California. I'll just do this one. So we left Cleghorn Trail and we found this really cool trail through the mountains here and we are thinking that there were going to be campsites up here for us to take advantage of. But uh, unfortunately we've met a bit of an impasse. And so now maybe this trip is over. Maybe we'll go home. Maybe we'll uh, see if we can find a campsite somewhere else. But I'll show you around here. It's quite the trail.
Um, but this is our, uh, this is our problem right here. I actually think me and you could get over it. I think Danny could get over it. I don't think he'd get back. Yeah, how there's all this fresh, fresh dirt slide that we're standing on. What could go wrong? A lot of freshly overturned earth. We didn't make it. <laughs> we thought we were gonna make it. We we're going to Gobbler's Knob. <laughs> I don't know who names this place. Uh, it's cool. It's uh, it's a yellow post site, and a yellow post site is literally there's just like a yellow post in the ground out here in I don't get the it. woods. <laughs> well, it's a post. It's yellow. It's Wait, in the ground. Okay. If it's there, you can. <laughs> yeah. So if it's there, you can camp there. And there's yellow post sites over there. Mm -hmm. But we can't get over there because there's a tree over here. Well, technically, they're over there. This is the tree. This is said tree. You can't get past this. There's our said trucks. That would have been cool. It's uh, it's right on the Pacific Crest Trail, though. It was looking like a really good spot to camp. Um, Zach's making me real nervous over here on the edge. Dude, you're gonna f die right here. This is this is how tourists die every year. Everybody you're gonna relax. be a statistic. I'm like a spider. Hey, we gotta go. We're gonna go. Yeah. Running out of light, and we gotta we gotta execute yeah. a three truck, 45 point turn maneuver on this oh, washed out trail. Place, Observe the I results mean, of of going wrong here. I mean, everyone is going to be super sad about this with John who has to sleep in his tent on these rocky ass road. I'll walk them. Hey, stop drawing on my truck. Come <laughs> <Over> with me! <laughs> Google this campground's do closed for those of you viewing. Danny, come back to my house, drink beers, eat food. So we hit that tree, turned around, and then we said, well, we don't want to go back to Lake Silverwood or Silverwood Lake um, campground. And then we thought, oh, let's, uh, let's try Apple Ap white. Apple white. Nope. Uh, turns out campground's closed. <laughs> Didn't realize that. Yeah. Uh, so now, although I think Danny's all hopped up. He's trying pretty hard. He's, he's trying pretty hard right now. My my enthusiasm and my fortitude is uh, yeah. dwindling by the minute. Same. Hey, what's excuse, up? Excuse me, sir. Why do you stop here? Because the campground seems to be closed. Just an outrage. Alright. Okay. So we ended up at Chili's. Chili's Ch 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 Bar and Grill in Fontana. Much, the, much the, the, neighbor the neighborhood restaurant. Right? Is yeah. That the thing? No, that's Applebee's. Well, it's yeah, I'm sure I don't know. Be I know a guy who worked at the original Applebee's. I should know this. Really? Yeah. Hey, Ike. We couldn't find a, a camping spot. No, no. Tried we so hard. Had a lot of backups. Yeah. Backups fell through. We went to one. It just said closed. Yeah. So we ended up in Fontana. Yeah. At Chili's. <laughs> the Chili's. Yeah. Okay. Right, 
I can play in the cut. But it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I can. Yeah, you can do it. Get near where. <laughs> okay, you're, you're finally holding the chili. Like as close as we could possibly get it. It's, you look totally weird. But yeah, more or less, more or less you got it. Did you capture it? I captured it. So.